What's up, the John Squad? I'm coming to you my WWE Monday Night Raw review for May 4th, 2020. I hope May, May the 4th be with you yesterday. Was good to you yesterday. So, just had to get that joke in there. So, we kicked off WWE Monday Night Raw with the MVP Lounge, and MVP talks about last week's last week's MVP Lounge, and introduces the Raw Women's Money in the Bank, um, Raw Women's Money in the Bank qualifiers. And first, he introduces Oscar. Then he introduces um Shayna Baszler, and then finally Nia Jax. And MVP asks them questions. So then, um, the first, the first, he, he starts to ask Nia Jax. So then Nia says that she will destroy her opponents at Money in the Bank. Asuka speaks in Japanese, and we cannot understand a word. What is she saying, you know? So that's what I didn't understand what she was saying. So then MVP asks Shayna Baszler a question, and Shayna says that she does all all her actions in a match, you know, in the Money in the Bank match. That's what she says. So then Shayna and Asuka kick Nia Jax out of the chair and out of the ring, and that's what happens in the segment with Shayna Baszler and Asuka going out at an MVP, trying to break them two up. So then the first match we had on Raw was... Bear with me here. The first match on Raw was a last chance gauntlet match for a Money in the Bank qualifying match because due to Apollo Crews being injured on his knee. So then we we had was Bobby Lashley versus Tyrus O'Neill was the first one. And the winner was Bobby Lashley. Then we had Bobby Lashley versus Akira Tozawa. And the winner was Bobby Lashley. Then we have Bobby Lashley versus Sultan Benjamin, and the winner was Bobby Lashley. Then the next we had was Bobby Lashley versus Humberto Carrillo, and the winner was Humberto Carrillo by DQ. Then Lashley kept beating up on Humberto Carrillo, and then we had Angel Garza versus Humberto Carrillo, and the winner of that match was Humberto Carrillo. Then we had. Humberto Carrillo, then we had Humberto Carrillo versus Austin Theory, and the winner was Humberto Carrillo. Then we had Humberto Carrillo versus not one, not only, but the return of AJ Styles from the Barry to Lie match from WrestleMania. We had the return of AJ Styles, and the winner was, and gets the last money in the bank spot who replaces Apollo Crews, is none other than AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. AJ Styles, and that's who gets the last money in the bank spot. So then, after the match is over, AJ Styles grabs Humberto Carrillo's leg and just slams it right into the ring post multiple times. And then, after the match is over, he gets on, he cuts a promo on the mic about the Undertaker and says he's not here to ruin my moment and stuff like that. And then he, and then he says that he's in the Money in the Bank ladder match and. And says if he has to knock Alistair Black and Rey Mysterio off the ladder, he will. I um, off the head, top of the headquarters. He will do so, and that's what AJ Styles just talks about. So then, we we had a we had a Seth Rollins exclusive in, in the ring with Charlie Caruso, and Seth Rollins talks about that. Talks, makes his prediction for Murphy, you know, talks about Murphy and Drew McIntyre, the main event on Raw in the main event, and, and that, and then he talks about that he is going to, and that Seth calls Drew McIntyre that he is not a leader, which I agree with Seth Rollins, that Drew McIntyre is not a leader, and that he is going to take to destiny at Money in the Bank, and that he that he is willing to s crucify and not crucify a sent sent sensify. That's what Rollins said, and and he is going to become a champion. That's what Rollins talks about. And well, basically, that's what Rollins just talks about is that he is going to become WWE champion at Money in the Bank and. 
and and he is ready to in and that Drew is not ready and he is trying to unbind him. That's what he talks about in that at Money in the Bank he is going to become a new WWE and there is going to be a new WWE champion. I agree with Seth Rollins with all the words he said last night on WWE Monday Night Raw. Let's go Seth. So then the second match in Hound Raw was Cedric Alexander and Ricochet versus Brandon Dink and Shane Thorne. And the winner of this match was Shane Thorne and Brandon Dink. Which this match was awesome. The third match in Hound Raw was the Viking Raiders versus the, St the Street Profits. And the winner was the Viking Raiders. Now we could be seeing a rematch at Money that Bank probably for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Stay tuned, you never know what WWE has. So then we had Charlotte Flair talks about, um, about pulling double duty on Monday Night Raw and NXT. Talks about Io Shirai on her opponent that this one's about defending the NXT Championship. So then, you know, the NXT Women's Championship. So then, Liv Morgan comes out and talks to Charlotte Flair and that, and that, that she is going to become sooner or later that she is going to become champion and that and then since so Charlotte talks to her and we get ourselves a match here ladies and gentlemen so in the next match we have a row with Charlotte Flair versus Liv Morgan and the winner was Charlotte Flair after she put the figure four leg lock and made Liv Morgan tap out so the main that we had on roll was Murphy versus Drew McIntyre, and the winner of this match was Drew McIntyre, of course, because there was no way they were not going to let Murphy win on the go-home show to Money in the Bank. Fortunately, I kind of felt bad for Murphy. I was cheering for Murphy to win, but that did not happen, so... Unfortunately, Drew McIntyre won, but then after the match was over, Seth Rollins was going to come into the ring and attack Drew McIntyre, but Drew, but Drew, um, but Drew, but, but, but Drew McIntyre called for Seth Rollins to come into the ring, but then Seth Rollins backs away from him and backs up, backs away and goes up the ramp, but then out from nowhere, Seth Rollins heads back towards the ring, and then super kicks Drew McIntyre out of nowhere. Then, Seth Rollins picks up the title, picks up the WWE title, and says this to Drew McIntyre, this is not about you, Drew, this is not about you, that's what he says to him, you have this on your own, that's what he says to him, this is not about you, Drew, not about, not all about you, Drew, so that's what he says in that... You have this coming, so then, Jim, so then Seth Rollins picks up the WWE title, was going to curb stop him until Jim McIntyre uh, probably uh, headbutts Seth Rollins in the jaw, and then and then, then WWE Monday Night Raw ends with Jim McIntyre standing tall, and I probably see Seth Rollins probably taking the belt off Jim McIntyre winning the bank. But stay tuned for my WWE Money in the Bank 2020 predictions. You never know who I might pick, but anyway, so... um. Once again, the John Squad, please like this video, leave your comments down below, and subscribe for more. And you know what that means, Coach Jim? I know you look at the, this video, because you know what that means if somebody stood tall at the end of the pay-per-view, the WWE Champion stood tall, that means you know Seth Rollins probably won. But anyway, um, okay, so um, once again, guys, I hope you all stay healthy, stay positive today. I hope. Everybody, I hope you all have a blessed day, and I hope you all stay positive, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed, and I love you guys, and stay healthy today, and um, hope you all enjoyed Diddy Monday Night Raw last night. I loved it all. I loved the gauntlet match. I loved the, everything about it. I loved Seth Rollins' exclusive interview. I loved everything about it last night. So, um, yeah. So, once again, please like this video. Don't forget to tap the bell you tap so you don't miss up on my videos, and subscribe. Four more. Peace out, the John Squad. Love you guys. You mean a lot to me. And and just remember, stay healthy, stay positive, and stay blessed. Peace. Let me know in the comments below on what your favorite part of Diddy Monday Night Raw was. 